Listen, fellas, the reality is stop trusting what women say. Just stop altogether. Stop trusting what they say and start watching what they actually do. Like, it's not about what you hear. It's about what you see. Because you can see emotions being played out in real time. You can see the foundation of what women are actually feeling in real time. If you just observe. I'm going to be real. Like, so I grew up with the father, right? I grew up with, I was fortunate enough to grow up with a very active father in my life. He suffered an aneurysm in early on in his career. And it basically sat him out to where like, he was there for me and giving me game that honestly, at the time I rejected. Cause I'm like, man, this dude's a monster. Like I don't believe I, I was basically, uh, what they call what blue pill. <laughs> I was just denying all of the truths that he was giving me, the brutal realities about women, the brutal realities of his wife, my mother. That I wasn't believing because I fed into the lies, right? And a lot of men are still feeding into those lies today because they're not educated, regardless of how much content there is out there in terms of women. So he used to tell me, he used to be like, listen, I will never believe what a woman ever tells me. I will only watch what she does and I will make my conclusions based on what she does. And that has proved to be consistently accurate throughout my dealings with women, throughout my, my interactions with women, even having women friends, like friends, right? Like I've, I've seen the actions that, that are not at all consistent with what they say, right? It, it's, it's shown up in my relationship. Like, you know, a lot of men now when they're in relationships or if they're dealing with women, they listen to what they say. For example, she's like, oh, oh I'm tired. Like when you want to get it in, right? You want to have sex. You want to do all these things because we're men. We want to have sex, right? And and you you want to do these things. And, and she starts to say, well, I'm tired or I don't feel like it today. And it's been days and days and days and days and days. That's what she says. But what does she actually do, right? What, why? What's the emotion behind that? Why does she feel that way? Well, you fell off, bro. You fell off. You fell off and she's not telling you you fell off. She's just telling you that she's just not interested, right? And by the way, duty sex is a real thing. I've experienced it and I look a certain way and I attract women. But when I got into relationships, I started experiencing these things because I would just listen and believe everything that women said. I would believe all of the nonsense. Oh, I need a break. I need a break from this relationship, right? And this was because I left the game. She wasn't seeing the women who were attracted to me anymore. By the way, women are hive minds. They love to see, and they're hypergamous. They want to see you be the top dog. They want to see women attracted to you, and that will essentially increase their attraction with you, regardless of how you look. Because men like to retire from the game when they get in relationships. They like to retire. They like to go into their little comfortable shell and get fat and stop going to the gym, stop building their business, stop building their legacy, Stop being the leader in the relationship. They just hang back and they're like, well, I'm retired. I'm done. I got the woman. I'm good. No, you got the woman. That's the start. That's just the start, bro. Now you have to start performing. Now you have to start playing the game. Here's the thing, bro. You were on the bench. You were on the bench watching the game. Then you decided to start playing, right? You wanted to start practicing. You want to start getting it. You start dating. You do this. Now you're in the game. Being in a relationship means you've been subbed into the game to be the point guard. Now you have to start being the point guard. A lot of men nowadays, they want to just sub out right away. Oh, you get into a relationship, you got in the game. Oh, let me just chill a little bit. You ever play basketball? When I was playing basketball, I used to have some of that mentality. Like, it, it all correlates, by the way. It's like you, you play the game, you, you, you just chilling. You're like, oh, I'm in the game. Or I'm a starter now. I'm a starter now. I can chill. You'll get benched real quick, bro. And you'll wonder why you're benched. You'll wonder why she doesn't want to have sex with you anymore. You'll wonder why she just has to convince herself to sleep with you on a right. By the way, men, it, you need to be have if you live with a woman or if you're in a serious relationship with a woman, you should be having sex every other day. I'm being real with you. Or she should be desiring to have sex with you every other day. At least. That's a fact. That's something that a lot of men don't understand because they've been psyoped into believing, oh, it's okay to have sex once a week. It's okay to have sex once a month. And soon it becomes zero times a month. I've experienced that. Yes, me, Martel. I've experienced this exact thing in previous relationships where everything starts to erode because I decided I was the I was the starting point guard. I'm good. I don't need to play the game no more. I don't need to shoot threes anymore. I'm not telling you to go cheat, but you should be showing that other women are desiring you. And for the for for the 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 billies out there, 
that want to say, oh, Martell, I don't care about women anymore. This is old. okay. Go black pill yourself somewhere else. But for the men who actually want to live fulfilling lives and have women around them, because as men, it is, it is amazing to have women around you or one woman around you. It's amazing to have that feminine energy. It balances things out for you. That's, that's the innate nature of men. Men want women, period, point blank. If you gay, cool, bro. Go do your thing. Go somewhere else. I'm talking to the dudes who like men, who like women, who like men, who like women out here, right? I'm talking to the dudes who like women, not the dudes who like men, all right? Not the dudes that, that don't, that have hung their hat, that have already retired from the game for life. I'm talking about the dudes that want to start playing the game correctly. And you have to start playing the game and understanding, wait, what did she say? Oh, she's upset today? Why is she upset? Why is she acting so weird? Start to observe, start to think back towards what was going on. Why is she acting different right now? See the actions, address those actions. Don't take what she said. Oh no, I'm just not feeling good today. I'm just not feeling good today, Billy. And Billy's like, okay, Sharon, it's all good. I'll see you later, good. No, stop doing that. Start to understand what women are actually doing. She told you, oh, Billy, I like dad bots. And you're like, oh yeah, Sharon. Dad bots, I'm gonna stop going to the gym and eat ice cream with you every day and watch Netflix and hopefully things are gonna work out. No, bro, you subbed out of the game. You're on the bench now. You might even get kicked out the game. Don't kick yourself out the game, bro. Play the game. Go, be lively, be social. When she goes places with you, she's watching to see what other women are looking at you. What other women? She might say, I don't, I don't like a man who, who, who attracts a lot of women. I like men who are low key to themselves. No, she doesn't. That's a, that's a false statement. And the only reason why she would want that is because she wants a man to control. She wants a man that can sit there and she knows she has. Real, real, real easy secret for you, fellas. If she feels like she's already won you, if she feels like there's already a victory and she can settle down and she's good and she doesn't need to make progress, she doesn't need to go to the gym anymore because she knows that she has you for life, you're done. You are subbed out. You have been kicked out of the game, bro. You've been kicked out. You used to be the starting five. You were showing out. You were doing your thing. You were an all-star. Now you're a retired bench player, Max. Right. You have to shift out of thinking that women are going to tell you the truth about their feelings. They're going to tell you the truth about what's really going on. They're not going to tell you women are not wired to tell you the truth all of the time. They're wired to to feel the truth, to do the truth, to act in their true nature. They're not built to tell you their true nature. My mom would never tell me the true nature of women. At all. My mom would tell me all of the things and everything she was telling me is interesting because every single thing she told me, my dad was not that thing. Oh yeah, you have to be soft and you have to always, you have to always um, buy flowers all the time. My dad wasn't doing that. My dad would occasionally do romantic gestures. My dad would write poetry for her and stuff like that occasionally and reward her for the things that she was doing well. But if she started acting up, my dad's not tolerating that. And my dad was always saying, look, I don't need to be here. I can go somewhere else. Some of you might think that's toxic. It's not. My dad was showing options. He was showing that he has many options. That's why my parents are literally still married today. Over 25 years of marriage. My mom is happily married to him. He's happily married to my mom. The reason why that exists is because he, he was able to control the dynamics. He was the leader. He was the clear leader. He wasn't sitting around even when he couldn't work. He still was trying to learn. He still was trying to educate himself. He still was trying to figure out what he could do. He ended up going to ASU and, and, and getting a degree. He was a, he showed out. My, my dad still made sure he looked good. My dad wasn't fat. When he started getting fat, he was in the gym. He was trying to eat clean again because he wasn't trying to get subbed out of the game. And my mom never subbed him out, ever. They will test you. Women will test you and make it seem like they're not testing you. They'll test to see how, 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 what, what you feel about yourself. Oh, Billy, I need, I need a break from this. I've, I've experienced this before, by the way, guys. I'm saying all this stuff because I've actually experienced this. None of this happens to me ever again, but I experienced it so you don't have to experience it. Billy, I want a break. 
Now you, Billy, are like, oh, okay, I understand you want to break. I know we've been together for a long time. I know that, you know, you need to, no, bro. She, she wants to go somewhere else and go exercise her options somewhere else and see if she can go get better because she's content with the fact that she's already won you and you're washed up and you're a bench player. Now she's going to look for another all-star. Now she's going to look for another starting five. And once she finds that, then you get the call. Actually, I don't think this is going to work out. Come on. And you're probably asking, Martel, what did you do when that happened to you when, when you got a break? I let that slide. But at the end of the day, when I finally came to terms with it, I, and I, 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 get, I brought her back. But I was doing my thing. I became an all-star outside. So she was attracted to me again. So she wanted me back in. So I brought her back in. And the cycle repeated because I didn't learn my lesson. I didn't learn my lesson until after. Women don't want breaks from you if they really are into you. No, that means she's not interested. Let her go. Breaks, there's no such thing as a break. It's a break up. That's what it is. It's a break up. Let her go. Let her go do her thing. And let her regret the fact that you have been an all-star. You, you are now an all-star. Go level yourself up. When you're in a relationship, she's not having sex with you at all anymore. I have go go have conversations with married men. This is what I want you to do. If you're not married yet, right? Or if you're not in a relationship, go have conversations with married men. What you're going to figure out is that a lot of these married men are in sexless relationships. A lot of these married men have to go cheat because they're not getting what they're getting at home. Why? Because they're not attractive to the woman anymore. Their everything is in secret. They, they stop going out. They stop doing all these things that were social. They stop showing their sexual attraction in the marketplace. They stopped, they stopped displaying their sexual market value. So what happened? She puts your sexual market value at zero because she's high minded. She's going to see what other girl. She's always trying to see what other girls are looking at my man. A good woman still does this. What other girls are seeing? She might act jealous, but internally she's like, good, I got the right one. I got him. So she's going to always make sure that you're safe. She's always going to make sure that your stomach is full and your balls are empty. Always. Always, always, always. If she stops doing that, she don't want you no more. Can you restore yourself from that? Can you restore the relationship? Yes, if you start getting on your purpose, if you start to go train again, that's when you can get it back. By the way, if you're interested in building your physique, you have that little dad bod that she convinced you to have. Link is in the description if you need that. If you need a guide, a full guide based on your body type to figure out what you should be eating, how you should be training, I put all of this in my guide. Link is in the description. I need all men to be in shape because that's number one. That's the foundation. You in shape, that'll at least help you. That's some skills that you can have while you're on the court. <laughs> right? You can show out like that. But that's what you got. You, you can't be listening to what they say. Watch what they do. Watch how they treat you. Is she catering to you? No, she don't want you because women who are really into you are going to cater for you. They're going to want to cook for you. They're going to want to clean for you. They're going to want to do anything, anything you need. That's what I experienced when I started understanding the game, when I started actually playing the game, when I started playing the attraction game, when I started actually doing it. Yes, it's a game. Life is a game. You got to play it at its highest level. You have to be that, that top dog. You have to be the big dog. Even if you're down bad financially, you have to still be the big dog. Lock in. Go get your money up. If you're in a relationship and you end up being down bad, don't stop putting your foot on the gas. Don't go and cry to her. She doesn't want you to be complaining. You know what she's going to tell you? Oh, it's okay, Billy. It's okay. And no worries. But in the back of her mind, there's a time crunch. You have a you have a small window of time to make sure that you get back on track to show that there's some progress, some momentum going on. So you don't have to be rich. But you have to show competency that you are getting rich, that you're going to be rich. You're taking the actions every day. You're doing the things that are necessary. All right. You have to be an ambitious man. Don't listen to what she says. Oh, it's OK, Billy. No. Stop doing that. Stop sabotaging yourself because that is why men are where they're at now. That's why men are giving up in relationships. That's why men are in sexless marriages because they stop playing the fucking game. They stop getting in the game. They stop busting. They, they stop doing their, their hezzy cross. They stop doing all. They stop hitting threes. They, didn't, they don't even want to take threes anymore. They're just a shadow player just moving around. So what does coach do? 
Hey, sub out. Next. And then you you crying. You asking coach, why'd you sub me out? Why'd you sub me out, coach? Cuz, coach. Cuz, cuz player, cuz Billy. You're, you're not him. You're not the point guard I thought you were. You couldn't read the defense. You couldn't read the game. You got to read the game. Read what they're doing. Read what they're doing. See the deception of words. You're being deceived by your words, by her words. And she's not doing this because she's a bad person. I hate when people do this. They start to hate women because they finally understand the true nature of women. This is when you love them the most because you realize they're so simple. Women are simple creatures, man. They're not complicated at all. If you just watch their actions, they're not complicated creatures at all. But too many of you are listening to what they say and it's, it's clouding your mind and you're doing the opposite of what you should be doing. You're trying to tailor your life to what they say versus what they actually do. You're saying it's all good to be fat and out of shape because they say they like dad bods when in, in, in the meantime, they're going with Tyrone. They're going with their local personal trainer. Who's not you? And when they come home after they get knocked down, oh, Billy, how was your day? Oh, it was good. I was just waiting for you to watch Netflix. I was waiting for you to watch Netflix. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't believe this. It took me a while to learn this, man. I, 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 don't, blame, I don't blame men these days because they don't understand the game. You need to have high expectations in your relationships with women. Period. Point blank. Don't 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 drop your expectations because she's not meeting those expectations. If she consistently does not meet your expectations. Walk the fuck away. Walk away. Withdraw from the relationship with pride. Okay, cool. There's millions of other women out there that will cater to me. This is what I had to realize. One itisness, right? Get out of the one itis mindset. Forget one itis, right? Start to actually be the person that knows that he has plenty of options. Because if you put one itis in the equation, you now put her on a pedestal. And when women eat, bro, I'm telling you, I've dated women who are just purely average before. A lot of men weren't checking for him as much. I used to like that. I used to like that because then I could make them, I could, I could, I could help them with their, their, their bodies and all that. I could help them look. I could, basically, I was like, I'm gonna find a diamond in the rough and then I'll clean it up and then I'll make it happen. That was my thought process, right? But what you realize, is that these women who are average, if you give if you give them enough like leeway in terms of believing that they're better than you, in terms of believing that that they were the catch and not you, they're going to start acting like they're tens. And they're going to start acting like that, and you're going to start seeing it, and your relationship will start to erode. They'll start to see that, oh, he's not getting any women. I mean, women aren't really checking for him. They're not looking at him. Come on. Toe the line, bro. I'm again. I'm not condoning cheating at all, but I'm condoning playing the game in terms of gaining attraction from the opposite sex, no matter where you go. Learn, get a mouthpiece. Learn how to talk to women. It doesn't have to be in a flirtatious way. For me, I've really never had to talk to women in a flirtatious way to 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 attract women. I just talk like a regular person, and they mess with me because I'm in shape. I'm confident. I'm competent. And I give them a new perspective and they mess with me right away. I don't need to do anything. I promise you. I, I've never had to do anything. And you honestly, once you put in the work, once you get all of the, you max out the stats that you need, you don't need to do anything anymore. They will come to you and you need to make sure that the woman that you're with, that you want to be with, sees that other women want you. This is the game. I know I'm going to get a lot of haters because of this video, but the reality is everything I'm telling you is true. Everything I'm telling you, I lived. Everything I'm telling you, my dad told me, and I didn't believe him. And my life was a living hell because I didn't listen to what he was saying. Until finally I experienced it for myself, and I was like, you know what, bro? You are right. You are entirely right. All right? So I hope this was valuable for you. Again, link is in the description if you need help with training, if you need help with, honestly, just leveling up your life. I do... I do coaching as well. So if you're interested in tapping in with me there, it's there. Link is in the description. The, the getting jacked protocol, my, my jacked protocol ebook is in the description as well, right? Literally the cost of, of like a cheap lunch. You can literally get like decades of knowledge around fitness, nutrition, um, chronobiology, all these things that I've learned. You have all of that there. 
all right, just to get you to become the best version of yourself. So I appreciate you. I'm going to tap in with you on the next video.